Hey, what up, everybody? I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what I've been up to and give you the survey results from last week. If you haven't done the survey, I'll include it in the link below. And also, I want to tell you guys about some really good courses on Udemy. I linked them below. They're $10 just for the next couple of days. So if you haven't um, bought them, you should really check it out because they are awesome. I've had a bunch of people tell me they're great courses. I've bought them and used them myself. So I'll show you those too. So if you don't remember, last week I sent out a survey to everybody asking for some input on a course I want to create because I love doing these videos, but I think I can do a real nice premium course and I'm leaning towards selling that um, online, either on my own website or on Udemy or somewhere else, but I haven't decided. So I'll show you guys the results, what I've gotten back from it. So I'll switch to that. So you can see here, here is my SurveyMonkey results. So I asked my first question was, what kind of programming topics do you hope my course can help you learn? And the clear winner was a full stack Ember JS application, although a lot of people wanted a full stack view app too. And then a handful of people wanted Elixir, Phoenix. And I was surprised by this that nobody really wants, so no one really cares about like a basic CSS to HTML JavaScript, but I think there's a lot of people out there that want to know this, but just people watching my videos probably aren't as interested. And then there's uh, an other, I won't show people's responses, but it was all over the place from people wanting React. I think between React was probably the most popular one topic that people want me to teach. Um, and I kind of understand that React is super popular right now. There's a lot of really good React courses, but I, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about it. And then Aurelia was probably the other topic people wanted me to do, um, to share on, to do a topic on. So the other the next question was, is there anything else you else that my course needs in order to be invaluable for you? So I gave them option for one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching or more beginner to intermediate topics, more advanced topics taken from the real world and other. So really, I kind of knew this already coming in. Everybody wants more advanced topics, even though generally, I don't know if that's actually what people want. Because when you teach a course, um, there's a whole, there's like thousands of people that want a uh, beginner course. And then there's just a small amount of people that want an advanced course. And then maybe there's a, a larger amount kind of in that middle that want an intermediate course. So I definitely, if I'm going to create a course, I'm going to go through some beginner topics, a lot of beginner topics, and then some intermediate topics and maybe just a few advanced topics, but it definitely won't be an advanced book. And that's kind of a criticism I've heard in the past is that advanced developers want to get these really experienced books, but that's uh, that's not what I'm trying to teach for. And I kind of just threw one-on-one -on -one coaching there to see if anybody's ever interested in that. And I literally had nobody, <laughs> nobody picked that option at all, which was kind of funny. Uh, then I asked, where do you buy your online courses from? I had mostly, I expected this, uh, Udemy was the most popular. And then uh, some people bought some stuff from Pluralsight, Team Treehouse, and uh, I don't buy any online courses. So that was kind of 20% of the people. And that kind of made sense to me that there's just always people out there who just want stuff for free. And if you want stuff for free, that's more power to you. There's free code camp, there's a ton of online sources, but you know, that's not always what you want to do. So that's the, the courses that people like. Definitely if I'm going to create an online course, I'm going to either create it on my website or use something like Teachable, or I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Udemy. I, th I think that's the two ones that most people like. I'm not sure, maybe in the first course, I, I'm not really sure where I'm going to sell it, but Udemy definitely sounds like a good choice. And how do you prefer to learn a new topic? Uh, this is kind of a bad question because I knew most people just choose both, but it was good that we had a pretty good amount of people wanting video. Um, not many people like learning off of blog posts. But if you guess you had to, you could choose both. So there's two online courses that I'd recommend if you're a beginner and you're starting out. Um, of course, the one I'm going to create, I would recommend too. Um, 
we'll see what that's on. Even though a lot of people like Ember.js and Vue, uh, I know it's still kind of a niche um, JavaScript framework. Um, it's amazing. There's a great community behind it. I kind of want to wait until Ember.js and the new Glimmer.js gets integrated in more so I can include Glimmer into an Ember.js course. So it almost behooves me to create a different course right now, maybe a Vue, maybe something else with some JavaScript in it, and then come back to an Ember.js course once Glimmer.js is a little higher in a little more evolved, and then I can include that in the course. So I'm kind of thinking through what I want to do. It's not going to be anytime soon, but I'm glad I got these responses. So there's two Udemy courses. If, you, uh, if you're looking, I'll include the links below. And like I said, it's $10 if you get it in the next few days. One is the Web Developer Bootcamp by Colt Steele. Uh, it's excellent course. Uh, like you can see, I've I have started it. I have been looking at it. Um, it comes highly recommended. It has a bunch of HTML, CSS, JS, Node, and more. Uh, it's just really, really popular, really great. And the other one is the JavaScript Understanding the Weird Parts. It's once again, I'll put that link below. But it's an excellent course that'll teach you everything you need to know to get started with JavaScript. And uh, there's, there's a book called JavaScript, The Good Parts. So understanding the weird parts is, is also an excellent course. So thanks for listening and watching today. So that is my update on the survey that I sent out last week. And like I said, if you can, click on those links below and check out these two courses. Like I said, they're only $10 for the next few days. And they are affiliate links, so if you click on them, thank you. That actually does help me out a lot. Um, thanks for watching. Take care.